And here we are. Another productive day. We've got our good buddy Joel up here working away. Say hi, Joel. <laughs> Got the uh, radio, which you can turn off with your foot. It's one of the key features. Wow. So, Joel, you want to give us a tour of what we've been up to today, real quick? No. Say, say, <laughs> say, say hi to mom and dad. Hi, mom and dad. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so, what's going on here, Joel? Well, we managed to do all your interior framing. Not all of it. We a lot of it. Take a look. Yeah. Just look what your son has done. Oh, hardly. <laughs> let's let's uh, see what else we got here. The closet are done. Uh huh. We don't have the ceiling yet. Well, your son will be doing that. <laughs> your office is pretty much delineated. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Your closets, look at these roomy closets. Yeah, it's a nice big closet. So we made sure what was we did like two foot two inches or something. Yeah, about two foot two inches. So it gives you plenty of room, even with sheetrock, to fit all those big winter coats. And a dramatic entry into your dining room. Yeah. Nice big awesome entry, eight foot tall, all the way down. We recycled um, some of the uh, kind of <laughs> headers, so to speak, uh, from uh, the wing walls that I dismantled. Got bookcases, one here, the eight foot tall. Another one's here, it'll be eight foot tall. And Joel standing in the spacious closet. We've got a double wall here for the purposes of the pocket door. Um, so I'm going to cut out that first plate, obviously. And uh, again, that recycled header you can see there, um, which is important. And over here is this nice big file room. I think this is actually going to work out super well for you. I think we could actually probably, probably fit file cabinets in on one side and pull the drawers out. So I think that should work out really well. The other advantage of putting <laughs> Sorry, the other advantage of putting the uh, wall to this side, as you can see we've done here, and we'll run sheetrock and it should flush out pretty, pretty close, is um, we don't interfere with that floor grade at all either. That turned out well. Here we'll get you a view of it from over here on the other end. A mess of framing we've been able to trip over things. Yeah, looks great. And then over here, you can see this little space um, is really, you know, if we're going to make this wall straight, we did, there is no way to, uh, to kind of save that area without having some funny jog in the wall, which we didn't want to do. So um, we've got a little recessed nook, which you can do whatever you want with. We could frame the top end so that it's got that same eight foot ceiling. Um, oh, and this is kind of cool. So over here, we realized if we continued with the eight foot ledger, we would, it'd be impossible to get into the storage space. So we lowered the ceiling in the closet to seven feet. It's not gonna bother you any, and that still gives you probably flush out to somewhere about two feet to crawl into, uh, to crawl into that upstairs area there. And right now we've got the whole opening framed out, but we can, uh, um, I could make it a smaller opening or something if you wanted to. So that's what's happening. Don't tell about birds. Oh, you, you can tell us about the birds. What happened, Joel? Oh, man, not me. Oh, come on. <laughs> what happened? We had two lovely birds that Indians would say were a wonderful omen that flew in here. And uh, Gant let them out in the most humane <laughs> way. Watching them with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bumped them with the screen and said, this, this is the window that's open. So it worked out pretty well. Yep, so I think we're all set. It was good to have another set of hands around today for sure. It made this go fast, which was great. So I can just fill in the joists with some hangers, no problem. The other thing that happened today is pretty exciting in your powder room here, which I've gone ahead and framed the walls and whatnot. Oh, they even cleaned up. Hey, plumbers that clean, wow. Um, we've got a rough end for your toilet and the angle stop coming out of the floor. And we've got, uh, and he said, you know, we patched into the drain, no problem. We also have a rough in for your vanity or pedestal sink. And we've got the vent pipes running straight up. Oh, <laughs> and I didn't do the sheetrock demo for them, so they did not quite as nice of a job on the sheetrock, but hey, that's all right. So yeah, things are rolling, rolling, rolling. Well, you have one issue, which I'll show you really quickly. Outside, um, we've got the problem of, uh, what is it called? The uh, 
Oh, oh, angle stop, water shut off, stop and drain. We got a stop and drain, it's rusted out. So I will show you exactly what that looks like here so that you can uh, see for yourself and we'll have to do something with that. And that will have to be an ad, unfortunately, I'm sorry. So, um, right here, you can see, oh, I zoomed in, zooming back out. Your two, one of them's for your sprinkler, one of them's for that. This was the end of the one for the house. And if you reach down in there, it's nothing but dirt. There's nothing to grab onto. So we're gonna have to dig this out. The good news is it's only about uh, maybe 16 inches deep, so it shouldn't be too hard of a dig. And then we'll have to get out there and replace it with a new stop. Um, or uh, stop and drain because right now uh, there's no way to shut your water off so we couldn't complete the plumbing uh, so in any case um, good that they caught that today it gives me ample time to, to get it dug out and ready for them and I should be able to knock it out next time around so that will have to be an ad I apologize but that's an existing condition that we were not aware of so that's the story I'll send this to you tonight and um, we'll go from there thanks Oh, the other, other reason Joel came to help is Joel's truck, you'll notice, looks identical to mine. That was a, a key criteria in deciding um, which carpenters would, would be helping me out. <laughs> All right, over and out.